things I want to go over today. I'm going to, uh, the agenda said easy discount. So we're going to do some easy discount. Today's date is 1-5-22. Now, um, is there any questions on any of the do now problems? We got them all right. Good job. Which number? Number one. Number one. Oh, 50% of one. That was on your homework. Like, if I give you a dollar and I want 50% back, how much are you going to give me? Yeah. That was the answer. If I give you $40 and I want half of it back, 20. 20. So 50% is like giving me half back. If I give you $100 and I want 50% back, 50 If I give you $6 and I want 50% back, $6. $3, just three. $6 cut in half, three. All right, I'm gonna show you the 10% discount shortcut. My mom uses this shortcut. And when I was a little kid and she used to do this, I would be like, wow, she's really good at math. And then I got a little older and when then I realized like, oh, I see her, her shortcut, she uses a shortcut. Uh, and it, it amazed me as a young child that she was able to do this math so quickly. But then I discovered it's a shortcut. Right. Here is the shortcut. Um, the 10%. I want to know what is 10% off of $50? It's not half, right? It's not 50%. It's 10%. Well, 10% of $50 is $5. Yep. 10% of 50 is 5. All we do is we move the decimal one time because it's 10%. And 10% is like dividing by 10. So move the decimal one time. All right, wait for it. I want to know what 10% of eighty dollars is eight. See if you can figure out the pattern. Takes some time. Ten percent of forty dollars. Four. You see it? See the pattern? And you're not. You know how yesterday we multiplied and all that? Like here, it's a different way. You don't really do like heavy math. You just kind of look at it. Yeah. But wait, what if it's 10% of $200? Mm -hmm. One zero. Do you guys see the 10%? So if ever a question ask, is asking like, okay, what's 10% of this? All you have to do is just get rid of that last zero, right? But what if there's no zeros? 10% of $45. Negative. So there's no zero to get rid of, right? And I can't get rid of a five because it's a five. It's not a zero. You can't just make it disappear. What you do is you go back to the first thing I told you over here. You just move the decimal one time. So here, I would move the decimal one time, and it would be $4.50. And so 45 to $4? Mm-hmm, 10%. It's just a small percent. 10% is very small. Okay? So what is 10% of, let's say, $78? Very good. Now, this is a shortcut. If you're looking at this going like, what is she doing? I don't get it. That's perfectly fine. It's a shortcut. You can still do it this other way that I taught you yesterday. You know, 45 times 0.10, right, for this problem. 
zero, zero, zero placeholder. Don't forget that placeholder. Five, four, zero, five, four. Move the decimal two times. Oh, my answer is $4.50. Yeah, we got that too, right? So if you don't understand the shortcut, that's perfectly fine. You can do it the long way that we showed you yesterday, right? So I like it. My mom would go to the stores and she would do the shortcut. And to me, I'm like, wow, mom, how'd you know it's 450 without having a calculator out or having a pencil to do the math? What she was doing is she was literally doing the shortcut in the store. And she would be telling me like, oh yeah, the new price, you're gonna be saving 450. And I was like a little kid going like, wow, amazing. But she needed a shortcut. And I'm like, all right, well, I see what you did there, mom. Okay, mm -hmm. let's take it up one notch. How many of you feel okay about this shortcut? You're like, okay, I see it, I get it, okay. Might use it, might not use it, it's okay. Thank you for teaching it to me. Cool. What if I turn it into 20%? 20% of, let's see who can do 20% of 50, using the shortcut. If you know 10% is five, what would 20% be? Yes. 10. How'd you figure that out? You're right, Diego. Okay, fine. It's a natural thing, I guess. Okay, okay. Let me do 20% of 80, which is the second one we did. 40. No. Nope. If 10% is 8, 16. Okay. Is it 10% is 5. So if I double 10%, if I double it to make it 20, I could double the 5. 5 times 2, 10. 10 times 2, 20. So 10 to 20%, that's times 2, right? So I just take my answer and multiply it by two. So let's do 20% of $40 would be eight because if 10% is four, so if I double it, it would give me eight. See that? Another shortcut. If you get it, fantastic. If this is like, why did she just, I don't get it. Then guess what? It's fine. You get to do, and there's nothing wrong with this, 40 times 0.20, right? Zero, zero, zero placeholder, zero, eight. Oh, I get $8. We get $8. We both get the same answer. Multiply. You can do it the old fashioned multiplication way. You're gonna get the right answer. This is called a shortcut. It's a little bit faster math, but if you don't get where the shortcut's coming from, then don't use it. Don't use it if you don't feel comfortable with this. Um, it might not make sense to you until maybe like you're a sophomore in high school and it's like, oh, I get it now. And that's fine. Sometimes it clicks later on. It is a useful, useful shortcut. All right, are we okay with this? You okay? All right. All right. What's, let me just check the time. Today, second period ends at 35. All right, we're good. Let's see. Um, let's do one problem like we did yesterday. What do I want to buy? A laptop? <laughs> 20,000. Oh, we measured these screens, my third period. How many of you think the screen in the back is bigger than the screen in the front? I think they're the same size. How many think it's bigger? I think that screen is bigger. They're the same size. They're the same size. I knew it. They're like an inch off. So I was 100% shocked because I honestly thought when I got that, I'm like, oh, that's so much bigger. That's so much bigger. But it's all like the perspective of it. But I literally measured it with my measuring tape yesterday because third period went into like this tangent um, with the... 100 inch screen TV from yesterday and they're like the same size. I was shocked. All right. Anyways, laptop. On um, the laptop cost, let's say 200. It's not a Chromebook. It's a real laptop. HP. 200,000. All right. Let's say it's um 
$850. All right, it's a pretty okay laptop. Apple laptops are way more expensive than 850. They start at like a thousand, and then they go up. No, it could be two thousand. Just it all depends on like memory and speed and whatnot. All right, and color. No, laptop is eight hundred and fifty. Now it is on sale for uh, let's say no. Oops, twenty five percent off. Okay. So this is a review from yesterday. So special. What's our first step? We're going to first. We're going to multiply. You're going to take your price of eight hundred and fifty, and we're going to multiply it by what? No, the percent written as a decimal. So 25% is what decimal? 0.25. Now be careful. Some of you on your homework, you guys got the placeholder wrong. And I even wrote you a little note, placeholder. If you don't get the placeholder right, all of your answers are wrong. So you got to be very, very close attention to me, like right now. Five, we're going to multiply everything by five first. Five times zero. Zero. Fix it. Five times five. Put the five, carry the two. Five times eight. Forty plus two. Okay. I'm done multiplying by five, right? Cross it out, leave it alone. It's gone. It's done. I now have a two. But before I start multiplying by two, I got to have a zero and we call it a placeholder okay i wrote that on some of your of uh, your homeworks that i gave back to you today okay now i'm gonna notice i switched pens now i'm doing the blue two times zero zero not to be confused with the placeholder zero this is this one's two times zero okay two times five 10, okay, another zero. Put the one on top. Two times eight, plus one. Zero, five, two, seven is 11, carry the one, and that's two. How many times do I move my decimal? Two. There are two numbers, two numbers here. One, two. What does this answer represent? Save very no. This is how much you save. We're going to save two hundred and twelve dollars with fifty cents. Put that in a big circle. This is how much you're going to save. Your quiz on Friday. The first question is going to say, "How much do you save?" Oh, 45. this. This is how much I'm going to save. The second question is going to say, "What's your new price?" So second step, 850. What should I add right now when I'm dealing with the 850? Um, no, I'm sorry. What should I write down as I'm dealing with this 850? Before I start writing anything else, a decimal and what else? Two zeros. So since I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and add a decimal and two zeros. Now I'm going to line this up. Number one mistake kids do is they don't line up the decimal. Second mistake kids do is they don't borrow. Te digo. 10, 9, 4. Zero five seven three six. Did I do that right? Yeah. Okay. What does this represent? The numbers of your no. The, the, the price? price. New price. What you're paying. 
So this is my new price. My new price is 637 with 50 cents. Okay? Check your work, show your work, okay? You're gonna, you got some of these problems yesterday for your homework, right? About Mr. Meese and Miss Andrews buying things, so. When I correct these for your homework, I'm looking for this work, okay? I'm looking for, like, okay, what's your first step? What's your second step? Did you borrow? All of the steps, okay? I go into greater detail on your notes, like I point at the place value. I don't expect that from your homework. I expect you to do it though, correctly. All right, let's see. We are going to look for the worksheet from yesterday. And I need a calculator. So take out this worksheet that says discount worksheet. And I need a calculator. Huh? So it's gonna be there. I have a student who is required to have one on their desk, third period. She sits at your desk. So you're, every day you're gonna have a calculator somewhere around you, okay? And you just put it to the side, knowing I didn't leave it there by accident. It just needs to live there for this student in third period. And no one sits their first period, so it's just you and third. Not a big deal, no need to share, share and tell, show and tell, oh, elementary school. Anyways, okay, 50 cents for number three. Let's go down to number three. 50% of $5. So if I give you $5 and I want 50% back, how much are you going to give me back? Very good, Brian, thank you. 200 and 200, $2.50. Right? Because it's 50%. And the shortcut for 50% is just cut it in half. All right. Are we ready? Number two. I mean, number four. What I want to do is I want you to use a calculator for the rest of these problems. Now, does a calculator mean you're always going to get the right answer? No. No. Like I told you before, the calculator is cool, but you got to make sure you're typing in the right numbers. Calculators don't know what you're doing. So, number four, orange basket. If a bicycle store, in a bicycle store, a 500 bicycle is marked, get 30% discount. What is the sell price of the bicycle? All right, so what's our first step? You're going to take the price of 500 and you're gonna multiply it by what? Decimal 30. Decimal 30. You have to take the 30% and write it as a decimal. Your calculator doesn't know that. So if you type in 500 times 30, you're gonna get a wrong answer. You have to type it in as 0.30, okay? You have to type it in as 0.30. The calculator doesn't know that. So let's use our calculators. You still have to show me what you're doing on your calculator, right? So 500 times 0.30. If you don't tell your calculator it's 0.30, it doesn't know. Equals, oh, okay, 150. This is how much I'm going to save. Am I done? No, what's my second step? my price of the bicycle minus my answer of 150. Okay, let's type that in. Type in your top number first, 500 minus my second number, 150 equals 350. 
Yeah. Your calculator doesn't know what number's on top. Your calculator doesn't know what, you know, 100% what it's doing. So even though you have a calculator and I'm asking you to use it, you still have to kind of do some math before, right? All right. Number two. What am I going to type in first? The price. What's the price? 90. Multiply it by what? 20. So I write that down because Miss Amelie still wants to see what I'm doing on my calculator. She's allowing me to use a calculator, but boy, does she want to see what I typed in. And I better see that decimal right there. Okay, what's my second step? Yeah, so 90 minus 18. I still need to see what you're doing. You're using a calculator, but I still need to see what are you doing. Um, Jonathan, can you double check your answers with the calculator? Please. All right, keep working, keep working. So you're allowed to use a calculator, but still set up your problems. So this is how we're going to do discount easy, Emmanuel. You're going to be able to use your calculator either on your phone or the iPad, but we're not texting or checking social media on your phones or hiding your phones on your lap. 